Lovely. This is the moment where you get a chance to sit back and relax before we get to the second round. Yeah, Laura looks as though she could do with that. Because we get to the point of the show where we introduce our newcomer act, 2321. And this week, it's the chance of a comedy duo who are doing great things up and down the country in colleges and clubs. And they had a big hit at the Edinburgh Festival. A great name with a great future, we hope. Isosceles. <laughs> Hello. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why are we called isosceles? Because we're a triangle. There's three of us. One, two, three. On this case, three, two, one. <laughs> well, I've been working on a ventriloquist act with my young friend Sniggles here, and we'd like to give a short performance for you now. So, when you're ready. Ready when you are? You can't stay here. I want to watch. You can't stay here, because you do... Sorry? You do... I want to watch it. Look, I can't do the voice. <laughs> Go and hide. I'll go and hide then. Yes. <laughs> I think I can safely say that this ventriloquism will be the most astonishing thing you'll ever have seen. Just watch my lips. OK, I'm ready. Shut up. <laughs> well, now, Sniggles, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? <clears throat> yes, but I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Told you it was astonishing. I want to go home. Now, now. Yes, now. No, no. No, no. 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 Oh. <laughs> did, you, did you like that bit? It's quite difficult because it goes so fast. I want to go home. Look, if I can get the audience to say hello to you very, very nicely, will you stay? Yes, but I'm sure they won't. Of course they will by the time I've finished with them. Now, I'm going to count up to three, then I want you all to say hello, Sniggles, and then he'll stay. Of course he'll stay anyway, but it would be a nice gesture, wouldn't it? So, one, two, three. Hello, Sniggles. <clears throat> yeah, that's pathetic. <laughs> Now, if this was television, we'd just edit that bit out and do it all over again. So, and a little clue about speaking is you have to open your mouths, because if you don't, somebody might get hurt. So, after three, <laughs> and you at home, one, two, three. <laughs> That's what I like to see, grown people making fools of themselves. <laughs> now. I'd like to meet that Linda Lee Lewis. Well, you can't. I fancy her. Just forget it. I really fancy her. <laughs> now, what are you going to do to entertain these uh, people? Apart from that... <laughs> are you going to do that tongue twister? I'm not the pheasant plucker, I'm the pheasant plucker's son. I'm only the pheasant until the pheasant plucker comes. Are you going to do that? No! Just as well. <laughs> what about the glass of water and the poem, eh? OK! This is the highlight, because while I drink a full glass of water, he will recite a poem. OK? Look, I'm going to get the glass. Do you want to stay here or come with me? I'll come with you. Thank goodness for that. <clears throat> Give me the glass. Give me the glass. <laughs> That's it. I've had enough. I've had enough. Are we finished? Yeah, look, I'm so... I'm fed up with him. Let's oh. put him in the bag. I'm not going in there. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no. Oh, yes, you get him in the butt. 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 Get him in the Indeed, isosceles, lovely. Well now, Andy and Mandy and Nick and Gail, this time you go for 20 pounds for each correct answer 